good morning students in the earlier video we have discussed about one and half okay so in this video we will discuss about second normal form in shortcut we can call it as 2nf now it was originally designed by ef cord in 1971 now when we can say that the relation is in 2nf is that it should satisfy these two conditions what is the first condition is the relation should be in 1nf okay if it should be in 2nf first it should be in 1nf and the second condition is it should not consist or it does not contains any partial dependencies okay what is meant by partial dependencies i will discuss you don't worry so the two rules are that it should be in 1nf and it should not consist of any partial dependencies okay so now we'll discuss what is a partial dependency a relation r is in 2nf okay if every non prime attribute a in relation r is not partially dependent on candidate key of relation r even the 2nf we can say like this also a relation on r is in 2nf if every non prime attribute a in r is not partially depend on candidate key of r okay so now we'll discuss what is a partial dependency okay if you have a non key attribute which is depending on partial of the candidate key okay what is meant by partial of the candidate key i will discuss now you don't worry okay and i will discuss what is a prime attribute what is a non prime attribute you don't worry i know that you did not understand what is a non prime attribute all these things with the definition with an example i will explain you don't worry let's say that i have taken a relation r which consists of three attributes x y z and they have given set of fds xy determines z y determines z okay to identify or to compute the prime attributes or non prime attributes first i need to identify what is the candidate key for the relation okay in the earlier videos i have discussed about how to identify a candidate key for the relation if you have not gone through these videos i request you to go through those videos and come back to this video so that you can understand the concept in a better way anyway i will discuss what is the candidate key for this relation if you see that the candidate key for the relation what is meant by candidate key a minimal of the key which can uniquely identify any tuple in the relation r okay it is the minimal set of attributes which can uniquely identify a tuple in the relation okay so how we have done using the closer we have calculated Let's take that. I will check x closer. Okay, I will check whether x can be a candidate key or not. Whether x closer will consist of what only x. So x cannot be a candidate key. I will check y closer. Y closer will consist of y, and y closer will consist of z, but it does not consist of x. So I can say that y is also not a candidate key. Okay. Now we will calculate the z closer. What is the z closer? Z closer is only z. So I can say that z is not a candidate key for this relation. So with the single value attributes, we have identified that none of them x, y, z are not the candidate keys. So we will see the length of two string length of two, which is x, y. We will see x, y. X, y. If I do, it will be x comma y. from xy i can determine z so xy is closer is giving me all the attributes in the relation r so i can say that xy is a candidate key we'll see xy we got we will see xz xz closer will give me only xz only it is not giving y so xz is not a candidate key we'll see yz yz closer will give me y comma z okay it is not giving me x so even yz is not a candidate key okay so we will see the length of 3 what is the string of length 3 is possible xyz xyz closer will give me xyz then people can say that xyz is a candidate key no xyz is not a candidate key it is a super key why xy is already a candidate key so adding one or zero attributes to the candidate key we will get a super key so here 
xy is a candidate key if you add a z you are getting a super key not a candidate key okay i hope you have understood what is the candidate key for this relation r now once you got the candidate key we will segregate into key attributes or prime attributes sometimes we can call it as a key attributes or we can call it as a prime attributes don't get confused sometimes i may use key attributes or sometimes i can use prime attributes both are same one now the candidate key is x y what are the attributes which are there in the candidate key will become as a key attribute so what are the attributes are there x comma y are the attributes belongs to the prime attributes because they are belongs to the candidate key now the non prime attributes or non key attributes are what are the attributes which are not there in the candidate key but they are in the relation r if you see that x y is the candidate key z is not belongs to candidate key however it belongs to relation r so i can say that z is a non key attribute or non prime attribute x and y are the prime attributes okay so now if you see that these fds come to this fds you have identified what are the prime attributes x and y are the prime attributes non prime attributes are z okay let me write it again clearly so that you will understand so the prime attributes are x and y non prime attributes are z now what is meant by partial dependency if you see this one z is a non prime attribute non prime attribute is depending on the candidate key so this is not a problem this is not a partial dependence because z is completely depending on the candidate key so i can say that it is fully dependency okay whereas if you see this one z is a non prime attribute or non key attribute which is partially depending on the candidate key what is the candidate key x y whereas here it is depending only on y so which is a partial of the candidate key so i can say that it is a partial dependency as non prime attribute is depending on the partial of the candidate key so i can say that this is a partial dependency if you have any partial dependencies in the given of this i can say that the relation is not in two enough if it does not consist of any partial dependencies then i can say that the relation r is in two enough i hope you have understood the introduction to the 2nf in the next video we will discuss few numerical examples so that you will understand the concept in a better way thank you so much